All right, here we are. We're going to take a quick little trail ride on Sam. Sam's big draft cross, as you can see. If you've been following, then you've kind of seen a bunch of other rides with him. He's been buddy sour. We've worked on that a bunch, and uh, he hasn't been buddy sour here lately. Got him over all the stuff he was kind of spooky with. And finally got a bit that he doesn't bother him. One of the, the things we were working on, kind of spooked or tripped, I'm not real sure. One of the things we've been working on with him is his neck raining. He was real bad on the, he had a mule rain him. And uh, so we worked on that. He's gotten pretty good. Y'all remember me telling y'all that he was a carriage horse, so he gets a little spooky because he's used to having blinders on. Come on. All right, well, let's reset and try again. Sam's acting a little more skittish today than he has been here lately. I don't know if it's the weather or what. It's actually shaped up to be a pretty day. Come on. Go. Come on. Push through, buddy. There you go. Sometimes you just got to make them do things they're not real sure of. These aren't usually so bad, but on him, it's a little different. Sam is a big, slow guy. Doesn't really ever get in a hurry, which is fine. That's kind of what these bigger horses are for sometimes. They're not made for your speed or roping or barrel racing or any of your rodeo sports. The lady who owns them is fine with him being a slow horse. I think that's what she loves the most about him. No. This way. Come on. Still have to do a little bit of direct rain on him. been over here before so he's a little leery Doesn't look like he likes it much but we're gonna make him go come on Sam cooperate buddy Ain't nothing this way gonna hurt you you already know ain't gonna lead you into harm's way so let's go come on it's just a little bit of mud come on See, it ain't hurting you. 
nothing's hurt. There you go. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Nothing's hurting you. Come on. Come on. There you go. This is a big open field. Learn about that horse. She's saw seem can sometimes be a little stubborn and uh quite hard to pull around if he needs to. He's kind of rough in the mouth. We're not riding with a super heavy bit either, so it don't help much, but he does do a lot better with this bit than every other bit we've tried so far. He has a little rough mouth, but you know a lot of these old cart horses are. They're used to a big direct rein and big long pulls, so is common. All of his issues are common for what a cart horse is once you start riding them. Nothing major, nothing dangerous, nothing you can't easily fix with some time. He'll step over logs. And that's not a problem for him. Do it again. Come on, Sam. Do it again. You just spread them back out. Kind of pushed them back in to mow and. Starting to listen to the foot pretty well. No. He hadn't been throwing his head. Kind of kind of being stubborn today, which is another thing that they wanted to work on, which is, you know, that one takes lots of time. Some horses are just stubborn and takes not letting them get away with stuff before they get over that. Kind of turn him and move him around a whole bunch until he starts doing it smooth and quits fighting us. 
And once you do it smooth, it'll quit turning and spinning so much. Until you do it smooth, we'll just keep at it. That's what it is. This is consistency. The consistency of not letting him get away with what he wants. Let's go. Some horses get very frustrated with that. And she kind of seems like he is too, but you got to ride them through it. Not always the funnest rides, but it's got to be done. Come on. If we have to use two reins and jerk them around there, we will. He'll eventually get it. Just not wanting to listen to that neck rain today. Thinks he can fight through it. So we'll fight through it with him. Another thing we had to kind of work on and still am working on is he doesn't really ride with tons of collection. Try to keep him collected. He's always wanting to get out of that, but make him sort of stay collected. And I know these bigger draft horses, they, uh, they do tend to move their head a bunch when they walk, so we got to keep that in mind. We're talking about the collection, but side to side, and throwing his head like that, that is not part of it. He doesn't need that. He needs the up and down motion, not the left and right, not the just trying to fight you. There we go. Now you made a smooth turn. Let's make another smooth turn. Let's keep your head up. Come on. There you go. You know what we're asking for. You know what we want. Just give us what we want, Sam, and then you can get what you want. Time with your buddies. Alright. So we'll kind of end all that turning left and right and back and forth a whole bunch on that good note. Since he's kind of starting to do what we're asking that way he understands that I did what he's asking of me and now I get the release.